Hi, I'm Andrew Watson. Thanks for joining me for my weekly guitar blog. It's May 13th, 2012. This time around, we're going to go out to Squamish, British Columbia in Canada and answer a question that came in from Lauren. Uh, Lauren wrote in saying, I totally suck at doing guitar hammer-ons. My fingers just go off bass and miss getting good tones. Or the idea, I guess, is getting clear sounding notes like good guitarists get, like Tony Iommi, Eddie Van Halen, or the guy from Deep Purple, Steve Morris. So my question is, if there might be a couple of exercises you can give out that would help me get better hammer-ons. Thanks. Your lessons rock from Lauren in Squamish, BC, Canada. Well, thanks for writing in, Lauren. You know, hammer-ons are a technique that require not only decent finger strength, but also good accuracy with the fingers when they strike on each string. And each finger needs to be given equal training time to develop the type of movement that's necessary to promote the best possible tone. So let's zoom in on the guitar fretboard and take a look at a group of exercises you can start doing right away that should help you to bring the technique of hammer-ons up to a much better level of skill in your own guitar playing. Now I have two different exercises I want to cover with you. Uh, the first one involves uh, going through three fingering groupings. Uh, the first one is uh, basically using the first and second fingers moving on a two string group and you just move that along fret by fret just using index and middle fingers of the uh, fretboard hand. You can move that along every string set. And then the uh, second phase of that is to go into using index and ring finger to do that study. And then of course, you know, do it on every string set, every position. Et cetera, et cetera. And then uh, the final part of that exercise is to use first finger and uh, the fourth finger. To move it all along the fretboard and all across the different string sets. Now the other exercise I want to cover with you is uh, an exercise where you'll be using your first and second and third and fourth fingers in a repetitive hammer-on pull-off style of exercise. Uh, the study would just go like this. And then you cross it over to another string if you want. I usually work on this exercise in a uh, vertical sense. I just work it across all string sets and go to several other positions as well. Of course, never practice anything so much that you would start developing a lot of pain in your hands. And in fact, if you do develop some stress and some pain in the muscle groups of your hand, that's probably a pretty good indication that you should stop and take a break. But I think if you apply those two exercises, your hammer-on technique will really improve. And the second exercise uh, really helps a lot with both hammer-ons and pull-offs. You know, practicing guitar technique in general takes daily dedication to bring up the level of each technical skill. But if you write out a short list of the areas you want to improve, such as alternate picking, legato, sweep picking, string crossing, hammer-ons and pull-offs, etc., etc., your abilities will most certainly develop over time uh, when there's a well-set, well-established daily routine. You know, when I was attending GIT studying guitar, I set up a one-hour technique workout that helped me quite a lot. And as I developed my playing in certain areas, I dropped exercises I felt I didn't need any longer, and I added ideas along the way when I noticed things in my playing that well, required more improvement. And over time, I got to a level where I was pretty happy with how my techniques could be applied, but it can be tough to achieve good technique without a good practice routine. Anyway, once again, that's about uh, all the time I have for today. As always, I hope these explanations help you. Thanks for watching. Have yourself a great week, and I'll catch up with you next time. Bye for now.